What is a typical day at work? I don't have a typical day at work because every day has the potential of being different. Some days I come in and I sit in front of a computer for eight hours. Other days I don't even come into the office. I go directly to a, a stakeout or a surveillance scene or maybe a, an event that's going on. Uh, there's no typicality to it and that's what I love about it. Every day is different. If, if you don't plan ahead, you're behind in this business. So my days are starting off uh, the day before, planning what's coming up, then executing. You have to be organized, you have to be disciplined, you have to make sure you do what you write down on your list you say you're gonna do, otherwise you won't get anywhere. You spin your wheels. scared it was more of a challenge I can accept it's something that'll that'll help me surgery is necessary to prevent further damage to the knee over time and it used to be done as an open procedure so they would literally cut your knee open and the problem with that is by violating the joint by cutting through the muscle the tendons to get to the joint that hurts the knee a lot more in terms of the recovery after the surgery um, so nowadays that can be done arthroscopically for, through tiny little poke holes in the skin. And we drill a hole through the tibia and a hole through the femur and we pull the tendon in through those holes and then we fix it on both ends. We take a special device that allows us to take from the inside of your knee one of your hamstring tendons uh, and then once we have that we prepare it so that it's ready to be used as a tendon. So once we've got these drill holes and we've got the tendon inside the knee, once we've pulled it in, we would fix it on both ends, either with screws or with metallic fasteners. We tension it so that we know that the tension is correct and we make sure that your knee is no longer unstable. This metal screw is a screw that we used to use and some people still use these and these work very well. These screws basically go into that tunnel alongside of the ligament and they basically hold the ligament in place. Nowadays we use ligament or screws more like this one and these are made out of biocomposite materials uh, that basically dissolve over a period of time and nowadays these screws actually are impregnated with calcium pyrophosphate or other materials that actually help them turn into bone so that this won't set off a alarm say in the airport like this one would and also on an x-ray or something you would never see this and also if that patient re-injured their ACL say 10 or 15 years later because they got back into playing basketball if this screw is there we have to go in and take this one out before we put the new ligament back in as opposed to this one just dissolves away turns into bone so it's basically gone after a couple of years. 